These wings are so crispy, so glazy, so spicy. You're not gonna wanna stop eating them. Korean style buffalo chicken wings. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday. This is a true Wok Wednesday here at School of Wok in London's premier Asian cookery school. We're going fusion through and through with this recipe. Fusion perhaps isn't a word for food these days, but I think it still should be. You know, a mishmash of different cultures and the best parts of all cuisines. First off, roughly chop some onion. You could grate this, but I'm just chopping it up because I'm gonna put everything for the marinade into a food processor anyway, just for ease. And I want the marinade itself to be quite smooth. Now in true Korean style, I like lots of garlic for this. So four or five big cloves should do a trick. Again, nice and easy. They can go straight into the food processor. Now if you didn't have a food processor and you wanted to have a nice smooth marinade, you could either finely chop everything or use a grater. So onion, ginger, garlic, plenty of garlic in there. And in true American style, the buttermilk. This buttermilk will help tenderize the meat, but also act as a bit of a, I guess the wetter side of the marinade. I've got some mirin here, about a tablespoon of mirin. Now for some saltiness, about half a tablespoon of light soy sauce. We'll use the rest for the actual sauce when it comes to wrapping after the deep fry. Blitz that as smooth as you can get it. My wings, I'm gonna keep them whole because I quite like sort of being able to dig in and break them apart and get your hands even more messy than they should get. So they're gonna go in. There's no wing tips on these wings. I'd rather them have wing tips, but for some reason they've been cut off today. Marinade straight over the top there. And then you wanna give them a good massage through and then cover them with some cling film. Pop in the fridge, ideally overnight, at least for an hour if you can. So these guys have been marinating for a while now and they've got all that lovely ginger and garlic flavor in there. Oh, lots of garlic, I can really smell it. All these wings with some seasoned corn flour, just salt and pepper and lots of corn flour should do the job. I quite like to go very peppery and generous with the salt. Just mix that in. And then just to make sure that each wing gets reasonably dredged and covered, do them one at a time. And we get asked this question quite a lot. Is it really corn flour that you're using? Because over here in the UK, we call corn starch, corn flour. For, to me, the same thing. But I think in the US, corn flour is perhaps more maize driven as a base flour. And this is that finer white flour or corn starch that gives it a really nice, fine, crisp coating. And you can see I'm doing one by one so I can be as generous as possible with that starch. And that buttermilk marinade has really helped to stick that dry batter onto each wing. I'm just testing my oil here. I'm cooking it in our cast iron wok, so it retains heat and deep fries nice and evenly. It's on a high heat. My wooden chopsticks are fizzing, which means that we're at about 180 degrees C. So I'm gonna start these wings off on a high heat, and then once they're all in, after about a minute or so, bring the heat down to medium heat. Just give them a little pat before they go in just to get rid of any excess flour. But I don't mind little clumpy bits of flour because that'll just go super crispy in the next sort of 10 to 12 minutes. So I've turned that heat down to medium heat, medium to high. And whilst it's sizzling away, and bubbling away for about 10 minutes on its first fry, I'm gonna make up the sauce. And then we'll just sort of give them a quick toss of the sauce before they're finished. But we will double fry these wings. So I've got my wok here on a medium heat, mainly because I'm using butter rather than oil. So I want that butter to melt through but not burn. And once your butter's melted, 
this is where it kind of really goes and mix and you know mix and match style between Korean and buffalo wings. We've got these goju garu, which is a Korean chili flake, which is almost like a sweet chili flavor with a bit of heat, but not too much. I'm just gonna lightly toast that in the butter. With that, some light soy sauce. And that liquid from the light soy sauce will stop that chili and the butter from burning. But still, weirdly, with what cooking, on a medium heat. American style buffalo chili sauce. At the moment, everything in there is quite salty, savory, or deep in savory flavor. Just gonna turn the heat up now, once you've got your base sort of liquids in there. I wanna get that vigorously boiling. Once it's vigorously boiling, then I'm gonna to start to add my sweeter ingredients. So that's more mirin, which is a Japanese sweet rice wine, and some honey. Give that a little mix round, and oh, I can already taste this without even tasting it or biting into it because it just smells incredible. That perfect balance of sweet, sour, sort of vinegar from the buffalo sauce, and then the addition of the goju garu, the mirin. This is gonna be amazing. Once you've got that lovely sort of syrupy texture on that high heat, I'd switch it off until your wings are ready. Now, I'm pretty sure I've said this in other sort of deep frying videos, but um, when, you, when you're deep frying or cooking anything, you cook with your senses. And the idea is that like, you can hear when your wings are fully cooked through. And that's from just the amount of bubbling or sizzling that's happening. I'd say right now we've got bubbling rather than sizzling or that fizzing sound. And so that says to me that it's cooked, the meat is cooked all the way through to the bone. And that on that first fry, you can see already how crispy that is. That's been about just over 10 minutes of deep frying. And the second fry really is, other than draining that sort of oil off the, fur, off the wings themselves, is to allow your oil to get to really high temperature again. So I'll put it on maximum heat so that the second fry is literally like a minute maximum until it's super crispy before it then goes into the sauce. Whilst that sauce is bubbling away and caramelizing nicely, you want to coat your crispy wings and then the sugar or that honey in that sauce will just sort of glaze the wings. You can of course toss them in the wok if you wish, but because I've kept them whole, I think it's easier just to do it like this. Garnish with some sliced spring onion, nice and simple. Mm. Thank you, America. Thank you, Korea. Mm. If, like me, you like getting messy when you're eating, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell. And we'll see you for chicken wings again. <laughs>